Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. It's Tuesday. You guys want to see this on Thursday, so it is Valentine. My little niece just bought me a Valentine gift. So I love M&M's to be specific. I love the peanut one. So she bought me that and a strawberry. To cast Tuesday, so we are going to that later on. So later on, you guys want to see that? We're going to cast on the rocks. This is my first time going to cast on the rocks. Um, is it Cast on the Rocks or is it Cast Juicy? I don't know. But it's my first time going. That'll be our Valentine's to each other. Because usually we don't do anything on Valentine's Day. I honestly hate to go out on Valentine's Day. Because I can't handle, you know, the restaurants always in a rush. The food, you have to wait mad long for the food. Plus when you do get the food, it don't taste good. So like I prefer to go like the day after or like the weekend after or whatever that's the plans and happy valentine's to each and every one of you hope you had a great one regardless if you're spending it by yourself you know treat yourself to the end oh yeah i didn't realize carnival was this weekend like kill me dead i thought carnival was the next weekend it's only yesterday here on the radio marshall montano concert is on friday and i'm like wait that's this friday by the way tickets for these carnival vets aren't cheap like legit prestige was twelve hundred dollars um i mean there are other cheaper options uh, there are the cheaper options that you can choose cas is four hundred dollars for general vip is 1500 and v vip i think is 2000 we're going to vip and this is more expensive than prestige because prestige was twelve hundred dollars a ticket we'll cast go through with the drinks with the eats with the entertainment so far so far he has a good lineup with busy signal shaggy skinny fabulous i think skinny fabulous but i know nyla gonna be there so far he have a good lineup but well, we hope this setup everything is good because prestige even though it was 1200 dollars it was worth it everything was organized and i will see all the in a little bit one eternity later uh. Alright guys, so it is several hours later, it is 7 o'clock and we're now heading down the road So um, yeah, it's had real rain but the rain held up so keep our fingers crossed that it doesn't rain um, This is my outfit, it's like a little dress moment I would insert a photo and show you guys how it looks But yeah, that's me right here so yeah, I'll see you all at the kiss. So there's a situation, we're in traffic for like well, half an hour now. So we're parking is that side for VIP. But I'm not sure if we have to go all the way up and then come down. I mean, like go all the way up, make the loop and then go into the car park. But I don't think the car park have park for all these cars. Courtyard is this side here. Let's really go courtside. Cause then we're not done pack already. But yeah. So as you said, oh, we're making the loop right here. So that's the situation. How fun!
Yes, 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 come on. Come on. That's, 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 that's,
Valentine's night. Give me the tea. Don't you know your love is I 
So I just came to close up the vlog, ignore those clothes that I'm doing laundry and packing away clothes and all of that. You know, the never ending cycle. But I just came here to close up the vlog and to just talk to Olya and give Olya my review of this Is We Cast Tues concert, right? Now, let me tell you something. The tickets for this, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, was $1,500 for VIP, $400 for general, which includes beer and rum. I'm not sure what type of beer and what type of rum. $1,500 includes premium drinks, which they had like top notch and food, right? As well as a VIP parking. We stayed an hour, actually no, 45 minutes, right? In traffic to get in from Turuba, as you guys seen in the previous clips, like the traffic starts like heading to the stadium, right? We stayed 45 minutes in that. It had people on the roadway like explaining to you like which part VIP parking is and which part courtyard, which is general parking is, right? A guy directed us, said you have to make a little bungo, VIP parking is on that end. Boom, okay, fine, all good and well. 
another when we drive up another person a woman she was like well vip parking make the loop and you know vip parking is right out the edge okay cool no scene tell me why we stayed 45 minutes right just to make the loop to go to the parking area to find out when we reach where the vip parking is supposed to be it's actually full like the parking was full it had no path in that area so they didn't cater one they didn't cater all right well you sell all this amount of tickets well cater for proper parking right no none of that plus the guard was given mad attitude and i was already mad so you know i was given mad attitude as well because you can't be saying 45 minutes in all this traffic for you to tell me that I had to go back down, make the loop, and say like what, two hours in traffic now? Nah, you had to be crazy. Everybody was parking on the side of the road because apparently the police um, said that you could park to the side of the road. So by now, this is like around 8 o'clock, right? So we parked to the side of the road. The gate's supposed to open at 7, right? At 7, it's supposed to open. So we park almost down to the junction by Brian Mara to enter to Brian Mara, right? Which which was a good thing and a bad thing. It was a bad thing in the moment because I had to walk all that distance. So I got to work up before I actually reach any effect. So yeah, right? Secure the van, park, okay, boom, shut. Walk all that distance, meet our friends. Some friends there waited and they were in line since seven, since seven o'clock and when we reach, to meet them it was after eight minutes to nine mind you they've been there standing up since seven we was on this line we wait half an hour the gates now listen the gates supposed to open seven none of the gates open seven the gates open after nine the fed's supposed to start nine o'clock right so everything now got pushed back right we stand up in this line for them to check we take a time go my friend was there since seven so we met with him and we were like up in front of the line but still they take mad long scanning your ticket checking your bag put it on this van all of that boom and that take like half an hour again so we in the line almost like 20 to 10 at this point and your rain was falling at this point so everybody who do the makeup and the hair it was all it all went to shit because the damn rain started to fall well not fall but like drizzle so at this point when we um get our tickets and we went inside we wanted to get a drink because we just yeah we're hungry <laughs> so we went all the food sets up set up in tents now i have to compare it huh, because um prestige was organized top of the line when i tell you everything was organized the promoters or whoever handled that they did not do a good job because um caterers was now bringing in their food setting up and i mean like everything already running so late like aren't these things supposed to like be like you know set up now usually if you know you're running late you'll put on a little music and you know they had like a rhythm section playing right through which I mean is all good and well, but you know after after a certain point you, you'll get like a little headache. You'll you you know you want to hear some music. They ain't even playing no music. Food. They had tents. They didn't even have anything labeled saying like you know like a big sign like what cuisine is like which tent has this cuisine or whatever. You have to like literally line up or like go up to the line to see what they have because they have like they have like small little name tags at the end of like by the table which you have to like really go up and look and see what right the menu wasn't all that they had like tandoori wings samosa ribs their corn soup and what else i i, I can't really remember because like i didn't really eat much um because again the food wasn't like all that um what else <laughs> you see guys i want to give away my honest review so you know hopefully if you guys are planning to go next day hopefully the promoters will organize the fed better and yeah it will be better than this and hopefully it it will cost less because this in my opinion was not with the 1500 however what i will say apart from the food and the parking situation the bar area had all the drinks you could ever want premium drinks 
premium drinks was up there they had like all the legit drinks so in terms of drinks it was good um the service at the drinks area was top notch like you get your drink quicker quicker quick and bar had really good service i must say um the performances was real the performance was good and the drinks was top notch like the drink service was real good so i really enjoyed cash really put on a great show this is my first time going to choose on the rocks well they call it is me and it was so good shaggy all the performers i were um Oh, all of the performers, Tampa, everybody just like performed so so well. It's just that, it, like, you could see that they had some problems, and that's why the show started late and whatever. I went to Kess. Let me know how your experience was. I enjoy myself regardless. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Don't forget to stay safe.